Workout review. Workout review. Hello everyone. Today we're going to go through my epic workout so you also can look epic gamer. Someone posted this on my Reddit. So, dude, that looks photoshopped. I don't even is that real? But maybe not. Uh, I don't really feel comfortable doing like a before and after. I don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to talk about my workout. So hopefully you guys can get inspired as well. I made a workout video a year and a half ago. And uh, so I wanted to talk about what has changed, what has improved, what has worked, what didn't work, or if anything's changed at all. First off, let's go through my setup, my workout setup, which is the same goddamn setup that I've always had. And here's my gym setup. Egger spots me. Thank you very much for doing that. The only difference now is that I'm in our living room. I just put in my mat, I put in my thingy schmingy, and I put in my weights. I keep them behind uh, our couch so we don't have to see them. Like, I don't want to make our living room messier than it is. That's all you need, baby. I use these weights called Power Block. It's the same one I always had, but a friend of mine gifted me uh, <laughs> the newer ones. I refuse to buy the newer ones. I don't know why I'm so cheap, guys. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I could've just... They kept breaking and bending. I went to a welder guy and he tr fixed them, but they didn't really fix them. I had to use like a screwdriver to pry them open every time. And I was just losing a bunch of time in my workout. So I'm glad the newer ones are way better of the power blocks. Is this a way so you can change the weights really quickly? I personally really enjoy working out with dumbbells. So considering a whole rack of dumbbells will probably set you back a couple thousand. This is definitely like a cheaper version. I hope once I'm more settled in, I can actually justify investing in some equipment because uh, yeah, since I'm supposed to move abroad, I, I just haven't. My workout is pretty much more or less the same as I used to. I've only changed up a couple of things here and there. I think I used to do five days a week, but I've actually moved down to four days a week. I start off like most people with chest. Gotta start off with chest. It's the base. <laughs> So this would be my Monday. I start off with the regular bench press. I'm struggling to get the... <laughs> For once I'm filming myself, I can't do it. I actually maxed out my... Uh, I maxed out my dumbbells. That was an amazing moment. I had, Marcy had to spot me. The thing with dumbbells is they're quite hard to get up. Like to get to the position, this position. Uh, to do that on your own when you're maximizing, it's really difficult. So I have to psych myself up a little bit every time. I do this pathetic push with my leg, like, that's not helping. <laughs> it's more about getting in the right position, but yeah. Um, I was so proud when I hit the, my new record, and then I googled, like, how good is that? And it basically said, like, for your weight group, intermediate. And I was like, what the fuck? I expected to read, like, God Mode or Giga Chat or some shit. So it became clear to me that I, I need to put on more weight to lift more weight. Um, so that's why I, I've been trying to bulk up more. I've always been quite skinny, so... Yeah, you can do one more. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Perfect form. <laughs> I definitely been pushing myself more. I think if I had to show my progress like on a graph, if this is where I was when I made my video a year ago, I think I've kind of like, it went up a little bit and then I kind of like became a bit more lazy. I just did my workout for the sake of it. And I did that for a long time with the goal of just being consistent, you know, getting my workout done. I wasn't really pushing myself that hard, but I was also okay with that. But it, only until recently, I've really started pushing myself more than I've ever have. And that's actually been really, really fun. I try to push myself to the point where it's like, okay, here I am, one more rep. If I can do one more rep, there will be world peace and everyone will be happy. And it's like, no, sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, so I do chest, I do incline chest, which is good too. And then I do a third set of chest when it's, I don't go down all the way. After that, I do shoulders, which when, when you're already tired from chest, shoulder is quite difficult, but it still feels amazing. Um, I'm really struggling. It's kind of funny. I never seen myself work out before. <laughs> oh yeah, and then after that I do a superset where I combine. Oh yeah, look at that. 
These, I don't know what they call this tricep, and then uh, lateral raises, I guess, like that. I guess I'm resting a little bit in between, but I try to make it into one set. I don't want to get too tired. I've finally come to a point where I'm more comfortable pushing myself before if I ever felt like I'm pushing myself so I could almost throw up, which can, which can happen, I think, especially when you're building muscle, it can happen, happen easier than you think. Uh, and that's just not a place I want to be. Uh, I want to feel good with my workout, but I, I know kind of where my limit is. So it, if I do feel tired, I don't, I'm not too bothered just stopping a little bit, you know? Yeah, and that's pretty much my Monday, I guess the first day of my workout. It takes me about an hour more or less to complete. I would say probably 50 minutes. And then I do uh, around eight minute abs afterwards to wrap it all up. If you're still here listening, can you guys do me a favor? So <laughs> I was supposed to promote the new G Fuel tub. Look at that, it's awesome. It's by the artist for Tuber Simulator and Legend of the Bro Fist. If you get this new tub, there's a 30% discount if you enter the code PewDiePie. And uh, you can also get this new shaker. Very nice. Love G Fuel. It's the greatest. I drink every day. 10% muscle increase, of course. The PewDiePie flavor is just so damn good. Like, there's so many great flavors in G Fuel, but it's also the most relevant flavor. I deleted my video where I was promoting it because I didn't like the video. <laughs> So if you guys can uh, just just buy it from this promo, so hopefully G Fuel doesn't notice that I deleted the video. Okay, thank you. Enter your code PewDiePie. I appreciate it. It's good drink, okay? It's not a pre-workout. It's just epic drink, epic gamer drink. Moving on to the next day number two. Tuesday is leg day, baby. I do squat. With my perfect form, okay? I don't want to hear anyone complaining about my form because I don't care. <laughs> four sets of squat, and then do four sets of deadlift. Barefooted deadlift. Don't drop it on your toes. It's kind of awkward doing deadlift with dumbbells. I'm not a huge fan, but hey, it, it does the trick. And oh mama, do I get tired from it. I, I know it's a bit cringe, but I did film myself. <laughs> What's my heart right? I can't see. You didn't film it, you idiot. I guess I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. You know what? Don't answer that. The thing is, leg just kills me. It's my shortest workout. I think it takes me only 45 minutes, but it absolutely destroys me. Leg is this weird thing where while I'm doing it, I'm not that tired. But as soon as I stop, I'm just like, I need to sit down. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> No one likes leg day. If you like leg day, you're lying, okay? But uh, so I try to make it quick but intense just to get it out. Uh, after deadlift, I do the split squat thing, lunges, that's it. Three sets of that, and then I do the calf raises where you go on your toes. Blah, blah, bling, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm pretty much done, you know? I don't, I'm not that, you know, legs. Yeah, sure, it's done. It's done. I don't care more. First two days are quite intense. That's why I rest on the third day. And on the third day, I should be feeling really like I've worked out. I should be feeling my legs and I should be feeling my upper body still. It's a good day to rest there, I think, because my whole body's pretty much in pain at that point. But it's a wonderful feeling. If you work out regularly, especially, you don't, uh, it's hard to get that. But if you work out to the point where your whole body is literally in pain, that's a great reminder that you had a, you put in the effort, you put in the work, you put in the hours, man. Uh, it's a good kind of pain to have. I love it. Then on day uh, four, I do I start off a little bit slower again where I do uh, pulls and the great thing about working out at home is I can uh, be shirtless and it's not cringe <laughs> So I I start off with um, single arm rows then I do two arm rows then I do overhead extension and then I do two, uh, double arm rows, but reverse grip. And then I do biceps, and then I do uh, hammer curls. That's probably my easiest workout. It's kind of hard finishing up with bicep and hammer curls because you're kind of tired at that point. But what I find <laughs> to really elevate my workout is my Spotify playlist, where I listen to a bunch of like industrial techno or like metal or heavy metal or, or black metal. <laughs> Mixed with some really cringy music like Euro Techno, Euro Pop, I don't know what to call it. 
from like 2000 with like DJ Alice and shit like that. Because you want to start off with the dunk 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 like really heavy shit. But then once you get tired and you need to pull through those last few sets, you put on that Euro, Euro disco techno shit. <laughs> That real cringy music, but once you're, <laughs> it sounds so cringe. But once you're there doing those bicep curls and that, do you think you're better off alone? You're just like, yeah, it works. Okay, it fucking works. Twenty percent muscle increase, ten percent from G Fuel. I guess that's the thing with uh, with this crap too. Like I used to listen to like podcasts and maybe YouTube videos sometimes, just like whatever in the background and. and I don't think that makes you as focused as when you if you put on music that you really like it really motivates you and like it forces you to kind of push yourself a bit more and i gotta be honest like my goal with the my workout is to just be consistent more than anything so while i am you know really pushing myself now i am allowing myself to understand that even if i do later on go down again that's totally fine as long as i'm staying consistent with it because that's the old the long-term goal is for me to just keep going no matter what i don't want to fall off and i'm not planning to i'm like my goal is to keep this on forever because i i just love it so much when i'm in a in a workout where you're so tired that you literally have nothing else left in you and all you can do is really just like i don't i didn't film it because it's not authentic but you push yourself to a point where all you have left is to just scream that to me is a beautiful moment because it means you're pushing yourself to your limit. You're fully concentrated in what you're doing. Uh, you're overcoming yourself. As someone that's quit drinking, I quit nicotine. So those are usually things that makes you feel like, oh, dopamine, good. But that moment when you're, you're pushing yourself to your limit while working out, it gives me that same sort of almost spiritual feeling, I, I could say. I love it. It's very addicting. It's just a pure moment of concentration of pain i would say i don't know what to call it then uh after i do my pole exercises day five is i used to do leg on day five but i just feel like i don't need to do legs twice a week that's just me i think my legs look just fine and i'm not particularly that passionate about legs <laughs> So what I like to do is uh, sometimes I do kendo, which I found to be a really fun kind of cardio, to be honest. It, it kind of tires you out pretty well, and it's fun to try out something different. Uh, I've been following like tutorials online. I'm sure kendo bros are just like, he's doing everything wrong. But I really enjoy it. Before that, I used to do other stuff as well. I was jump, skipping, what's it called? Jumping rope. I kind of see it as my, I can do whatever I want day. And I do that for literally just 40 to 30, 30 to 40 minutes. And that's a really good workout. And it's really fun to try out something different as well. I'm, I'm not entirely sure I will keep that up to be honest, but I'm also okay with that. Then on my last day, day six, I really like to finish strong. And I do a, a workout that's a sort of a combination of the entire week, except leg of course, cause leg is cringe. I do chest, I do shoulder, I do bicep, I do all the epic stuff and it's my favorite workout. Yeah, you definitely feel it the day after, which is really nice. So that's why I rest on the day after. There's a lot of stuff like small tips and little mindset stuff that you might think well, that's not going to make a difference and it probably isn't. But I, th I find myself to be with workout, it's so easy to make excuses for yourself like, oh, I'm a bit tired today or oh, I'm, yesterday I had blah, 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 or today was a long day or blah, blah, blah. You, you come up with all these excuses of why you shouldn't work out. I don't want to sound like toxic, like you have to work out. It's more like it's easy to get in that mindset. So I like to have other stuff to kind of, it seems silly, but they help counteract those sort of uh, self-pitying thoughts, I guess. One thing I have that really, really helps is my watch because I can time my sets and I can see my heartbeat to make sure I'm not working too hard or I'm working enough, you know? And as an epic minimalist, you might ask, how do you justify having a watch? I try to use my phone. I try using an app to time my reps, but it it's dangerous to be on your phone while you're working out because you're just 
it's so easy to just, oh oh notification start talking to people uh it still happens but it's better not to touch your phone during your workout so that's why i like to have my my watch and it's really really helpful to have that it's the sole reason i have this watch is just for that so i don't touch my phone during my workout another good thing about it is that i can time my workout so i know how long it takes to know that i'm not slacking or being sloppy and also you know when you work out on your own at home it's kind of hard to start sometimes I've, especially when you're in your living room you're not in the right mindset right away and you kind of start dragging your you're like ah, oh, it's yeah, i'll start soon <laughs> But if I start the timer on my watch, it's like, no, now I have to start. Another thing I do is I drink uh, pre-workout. Sometimes I even drink G Fuel, just because I know G Fuel is not a pre-workout, but it's more like, okay, I drank it, now I have to work out. I did something, now I have to start my workout because sometimes I just find myself wasting time and that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Of course, no substances, no steroids, smeroids. That goes completely against my whole philosophy on workout. If other people want to do it, great, good for you. But me, nah, no thanks. I used to write down my, my weights in this book, but uh, I don't really feel like I need to do that anymore. It's really good to do that. I definitely recommend doing that, but I, I feel like I know my weights and I don't really have to. But yeah, going on before with like making excuses, it's easy to start feeling pity like oh no i shouldn't um, blah, blah, blah. and i yeah i really don't want to promote some sort of toxic like uh push yourself too hard mindset because i'm not about that at all i just know that it's easy to make excuses sometimes and i think everyone is different some people don't feel good by pushing themselves but i always know i feel wor way worse if i skip something as opposed to just pushing myself through it maybe at 80 percent or 70 percent instead of doing nothing feeling pity over yourself is kind of a pointless emotion it's not going to help you with anything really so i think it's good to overcome that it's the pain that gives you the strength after all it's kind of funny how it works with that not just from the typical gym like no pain no gain it, it works the exact same with your mind some philosophical notes there's a famous quote from socrates that says no citizen has a right to be an amateur in the matter of physical training what a disgrace it is for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strengths of, of which his body is capable socrates i think this quote is kind of taken from a time where there was a lot of war and greece needed to be defended so i i would take it with a with a grain of salt but i think also the way we live now especially sort of the mind precedes the body our body is just sort of a suit for our brain to travel in when in reality they're deeply connected and to experience growth and pain in, in both ways combined i think is something especially now where there's no practical using any of it is a wonderful thing you know everyone's canvas is different everyone's possibility is different but it's what you do with it that matters you know a lot of people look at uh, work at in, in philosophy with the idea of Nietzsche's Ubermensch. But for me, it's more of rising above Tarasustra, the idea of the last man. Like I said before, um, I think we live in a time where, where the mind precedes the body. And I don't want to live in a way where I'm always comfortable, where I'm not taking risk or pushing myself and just simply keeping keeping warm as it said and um, I feel like my results with my workout doesn't matter as much as the point of me pushing myself and I think that goes for for everything really I don't remember if it's Aristotle or Socrates but it, they basically lay out the idea with about virtue that it's it's in what we're doing it's not what we have done and I think that's something really nice because especially with with people that work out I notice there's a feeling of more i need to gain more muscle i need to become more strong or i need to become more built when in reality that way you know, you'll never be satisfied the point of working out and i think this should be motivating for people that maybe haven't started or or want to get started as long as you're doing it that's all that matters you're putting in the same effort as anyone else who's at the gym or whatever the point is that you're doing it not that you haven't reached your goal yet. I, I would really focus on that and I, I think that's such a better mindset that it works really well for me. Like, I don't think about what I haven't achieved yet. I'm just really happy once I do it. And that's why I try to work out in the sense that consistency is what matters more than anything. But I've really, really enjoyed pushing myself more lately. I find that to be really, really fun. I'm enjoying my workout more now than ever. It's probably the closest thing to any sort of spiritual feeling that I, that I could achieve. I, I love it. Um, and I hope other people can experience it as well. So 
What are you waiting for? Get on out there. You got nothing to lose. It's good for your health and your mind. Anytime you work out, you feel better. And it doesn't have to be strength building anyway. Like, like I said, on my fourth day, I do whatever. Like kendo, that's a good workout. Fuck. Even just jumping rope or doing a sport, you know, it's, it's always better doing something than nothing. And I guess that's another thing that a lot of the Stoics talked about as well, especially with workout that whoever is doing some sort of workout and they figured this out thousands of years ago, which is that whoever's doing regular physical workout is living a better life because you are making a better choices as a consequence and it's better for your health as well. I don't want anyone to feel guilty or feel shitty about not exercising, but I think it's always better to do a little bit than nothing. And then you can slowly, if you start to feel comfortable, then you can start pushing yourself a little bit, but oh, start simple. It doesn't have to be that much. It could be um, just a couple minutes a day, you know? If you start looking at it like, oh, I need, I'm, I need to work out because I need to be in this type of body shape or whatever, then you're missing the point. The point should be my goal is to keep being consistent with it and do it every day. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out the G Fuel, guys. So you get 30% off. I really appreciate it. And uh, that's it. Bye bye.